Hello and welcome to this microbit tutorial brought to you by the Tamworth Library Innovation Studio. This is our uh, weekly, I guess, robot club. Um, however, due to current circumstances, we cannot do it face to face, so we're doing it over the, uh, the web. So um, it's for our robot club, but you don't have to be part of the robot club. You can share this video, you can, anyone can take part. Uh, we're going to be doing it on the microbit screen which is this uh, little 5x5 five five LED array that we've got here. Um, however, you don't need the micro bit, the physical micro bit, to do this tutorial. We're going to do it virtually online through the browser. It's going to be fantastic. So um, to do it, you just need a, a PC, Mac, or Android, or Apple, or iPad, something like that. Anything that's got a browser, you'll be able to do this tutorial. Um, Let's get started. So I'll talk now about what we're going to learn this lesson. Um, but this lesson's best done in pieces. So you can either have a screen set up, um, a separate screen set up showing this video and pause it when you need to complete the steps, or you can do it on the one device. Just hit play. And when I tell you, you can just pause it and then follow the steps. If you get stuck or you forgot what to do, you can just rewind it, go back, and try again. Um, but either way is fine. Uh, so today we're going to learn about uh, variables, which is will be like it's like a storage container where we can store things, and it's going to be really easy for us to do uh, work with our images today. So we're going to use these variables to store the images. Then we're going to um, animate the image, and you'll see why the variable variables are very important. So we're going to make a little animation where it looks like the, the, the little pixels or little lights are moving on the screen. Uh, and then we're going to change our little animation based on when we press buttons on the micro bit, button A or button B. And then I'm going to give you a few little challenges that will be based on what we've learnt. And it will extend it a little bit further. So let's get started and you guys can follow on. All right. The first thing we'll need is we need to open up a browser. I, re I recommend Chrome, but you can also use Safari if you're on an iPad or something. Um, and the the web address we're going to be use, using is um, make code for microbit. And you can go to this website. There's a link in the, in the description, or you can just type it into Google. It's make code for microbit. If you just search that up, it should be, yeah, the web website comes up, makecode.microbit.org. Okay, and once that's opened up, we're going to create a new project. All right, um, I recommend you pause the video here. Make sure you can open your browser and get this website open and then we'll start on the, the first steps. All right. All right, the very first step is to make four variables to hold four images, okay? So we're gonna be putting the variables in, the images in variables, sorry, um, so we can easily use them later on and you'll see why this is um, the best way to do it. So to start us off, we'll go to uh, variables and we'll make our first variable in our first image. So on variables we have uh, make a variable. Let's call it images. Images one, I think, because we're gonna have four of them. And we will set the image. Now we're not gonna set it to zero. Um, that would be pretty useless. So what we're going to set it to is an actual image. So next we have to go down to advanced and there should be uh, an images little icon there. Click on that and we want to create a, a five by five image, which is this one. And we have to drag it just in the right spot in there. All right, you can make the, Im the image that I'm going to make or you can choose to make um, your own. But just to 
We're going to do four of them, so make sure we can make it look like it's animating somehow. All right, I recommend you pause the video here so you can get your variable and image um, put into the code. All right, so that's one image. Now, it's not displaying anything yet because um, we haven't set it to display the image or anything like that. But first, we'll create four images and then we'll get on to animating. So it's pretty easy to create um, the extra images. If I just click um, on this red bit here and duplicate, I can make four of them. So if I go one, two, three, four. All right, so I'll zoom out a little bit. And I've got four images there. So I'm going to have to change the others so it's not just all the same Im image. So I have to change the variable and the image. So to change the variable, uh, we just go in here and I'll make a new variable. I'll go images two and I'll change it slightly. So the hands go down, I guess. All right. And I'll do the same for images three and four. All right, so I have four images, each of them are different, and four variables called images one, two, three, and four. I'll pause the video now and you guys can um, make sure you've got that all correct before we move on. All right, here's the fun bit. Now we're going to make these images move, okay? We need to put that in the, the forever loop so it keeps going over and over again, but it's pretty simple now that we've got everything set up. Um, so now, we just need to go to uh, images and we need to show image at offset zero. So if I drag that in here, now we don't want to display my image, we want to do images one, the first one. Uh, the offset just changes where it's located on the screen, we'll leave it at zero. And then we need the image to display for a certain amount of time. So if I go to basic and pause uh, that'll pause for uh, 100 milliseconds which is 0.1 of a second um, now I want to do that four times you can see the first image is displayed over here so if I, want, I want to do it four time, uh, times I can duplicate change it to image 2 and put another pause in if I do that two more times you'll see that the, the animation will go all the way through All right, so to recap, um, I've just put uh, show image four times and pause four times. Uh, now show image um, changes each time to from one to four. So if your animation is not going through each image you created, check that it goes one, two, three, and four, and check that you've got each variable name and each image different over here, okay? All right, this next step um, is we're going to add some interaction. So when they press button A or button B, when we press them, we want our image to change. We want our animation to change. So there's a few steps to this. We're going to create some more variables and images, but it should be pretty easy because we have already got some images and variables. So if I right click on the last image, duplicate that. Now I need to change two things. I need to change it to a new variable, and this time we'll call it uh, call it button A because when we press button A, 
and I will change that image so it looks a little bit different. And we will duplicate that and make another one for button B. Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right, um, pause the video there and make your new variables and images and I'll see you at the next step. So we now need to put um, the inputs for when the buttons are pressed in and then change our um, animation. So under the input section, we should have on button A pressed We'll take that, I'll just move it up here. And when the button's pressed, we want to show our new images. So we'll make it nice and easy and we'll duplicate this one here. And we'll change it to button A. And we'll put in a little pause. Fantastic. Now, make it even easier, we'll duplicate this whole um, bunch of code for button B. And make sure you change the image as well. So now when button A is pressed it will display that image and when button B is pressed it will display that image. So we'll test it out. And it just moves off to the side like that. Um, there we go, fantastic. Now, before we move on to the challenges, I think now is a good time to save what we're doing. So let's um, go down the bottom and maybe save it as images. And just click the little save button. Um, that means now it should be when we hit uh, home should see our project is saved right there. Okay, to wrap it up, um, let's talk about the challenges that I've set for this week. So um, I'll give you three challenges to do. The first one, pretty simple, um, just extend our example by adding the on shake and on button A plus B pressed um, functions into your code. So it's very similar to button A or button B pressed. Um, and just create more variables and more images and get them to display when you do those actions. All right, um, the next one is you can make a clock animation um, that has a moving hand. So um, have it so it moves around the screen like a timer going all around the screen. Um, make sure if you do that one, do it as a new project so you don't wipe all the, the good work that you've done with the last one. And um, another one I can really recommend getting into is on the, um, on the website that we're on, um, do one of the tutorials. I'd recommend the Rock, Paper, Scissors tutorial, and I'll show you where that is now because it takes you through it nice and easy. So if you on the website, if you scroll down in the tutorials under games there's rock paper scissors but you can do some of the others if you'd like I just find that one's nice easy one to start with you just click on it and it takes you through how to make the code all right well that concludes this week's lesson hopefully we'll see you again next week and thank you very much see you later